God, you're always in control. You know everywhere I go. You are good and you are wise. Oh, there is nothing. There is nothing that you can't do. Welcome back to another exciting lesson on experiments. Did you ever wonder why there are so many eggs around this time of the year? I was thinking about the same thing. Everywhere I look, I see eggs. Chocolate eggs, candy eggs, marshmallow eggs. What's that all about? It's because eggs represent new life and Jesus came to give us new life. But while the love of Jesus never fades, we all know that eggs have a shelf life, which means that chocolate eggs will eventually go bad. But long before these eggs go bad, these real ones will go bad. So how can we tell if an egg is bad or if it is still good to eat without cracking it open? Well, a good indicator is the expiration, I mean, <laughs> expiration date on the box. It doesn't mean that the eggs are bad immediately after that date, but it does mean that we need to cook them and eat them as soon as possible. There's also a little experiment that we can do to check. Let's head on over to the kitchen to get a few supplies. You will need a bowl of cold water and a couple of uncooked eggs. So if you place the eggs into the water, they should sink. But if the egg floats, then maybe don't take a chance of cracking it open. You know, all this talk about bad eggs is making my tummy sore. I once cracked open a bad egg and the smell was so bad it lasted hours. Why are we even talking about bad eggs? Because of the 12 men that Jesus recruited to be his disciples, there was one bad egg. His name was Judas, and he was the man that betrayed Jesus. Let's watch a short video and see what happens. Sometime before Jesus took his disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane, Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, went to the chief priests and asked them, What are you willing to give me if I deliver Jesus over to you? They paid Judas 30 silver coins to carry out this deed. From then on, Judas was watching for an opportunity to hand over Jesus. After he had finished praying, Jesus was speaking to his disciples Peter, James, and John when he saw Judas approaching with a large crowd following behind. The chief priests and the elders had sent the crowd armed with swords and clubs. Because the people in the crowd did not know what Jesus looked like, Judas arranged a signal 
so that they would know which person to arrest. Judas said, The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. When Judas arrived at the garden, he walked right up to Jesus, said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus looked at Judas and said, Do what you came for, friend. Then the men in the crowd stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. One of the disciples who came to pray with Jesus in the garden saw what was happening, so he drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Jesus told his disciple to put his sword away and explained that everything was happening just as it was supposed to and just as it should. Do you think I cannot call on my Father to save me from this? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen in this way? Jesus then turned to those in the angry crowd and said, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple courts teaching and you did not arrest me. All of this is happening so that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. As it became clear that Jesus was going to be taken to the chief priests, Jesus' disciples fled in fear of being punished along with him. They abandoned Jesus. You see kids, Judas witnessed all the miracles that the other disciples saw. He heard all the same sermons. He saw how Jesus loved everyone. Yet, while the other eleven dedicated their lives to him, Judas was always thinking of himself and money. Judas was a bad egg, not because he was a bad person, but because he put his love of money, a prophet, ahead of his love for Jesus. Judas knew that there were men who wanted to hurt Jesus. He knew that they were afraid to arrest him during the day because he was so popular. But if they could grab him after dark, then they could spin the story that Jesus had broken the law and deserved to die. Do you think that Judas regretted his decision to betray Jesus? He absolutely did. He even tried to return the money, but it didn't take away the pain of what he had done. Judas had made the worst mistake that anyone could have ever made. Judas decided to put his hope in something else other than Jesus and rather than becoming rich, Judas was ruined. Did Jesus know that Judas was a bad egg? Of course he did. So why didn't he do anything about it? Because Jesus knew it was all part of God's plan. He knew that he had to die on the cross so that our sins could be washed away. Did Jesus still love Judas even though he knew he would betray him? I genuinely believe that he did. Just as he loves all the bad eggs in the world, no matter how rotten, and he's willing to forgive them if they will put their own desires aside and put Jesus first. You know, we can all be bad eggs sometimes when we put other things ahead of God. But the great news is that Jesus can forgive even the worst of sinners. That's right, kids. He forgave the thief hanging next to him on the cross. He forgave Peter who denied him three times. Jesus could have forgiven Judas for betraying him. So no matter what sin you have in your life, Jesus can and will forgive you. God has a better plan for all of us. He wants us to put aside our selfish desires and anything else that gets in the way of us knowing Jesus. He wants us to put Jesus first. Only Jesus can make a bad egg good again. I'm so glad that Jesus can forgive us and set us on the right path. So, are you ready for some chocolate eggs now? I'm always ready for chocolate. 
But let's remind everyone about our memory verse first. It's found in Romans 5 verse 8. But here is how God has shown His love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you kids for joining us again for another exciting experiment. Don't forget to catch us next week right here. Bye! Bye!